Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Barbie Dolls of the Week. And I have to say that this is number 50. Congratulations to the staff <laughs> and myself on 50 Barbie Dolls of the Week. And that's this one. So today we're going to talk about a group of dolls or a collection of dolls that was uh, out in the 1990s. So again, we're dealing with 1990s dolls. And this collection, I personally don't feel gets its just due. I never hear people talking about these dolls, and I don't see them very often in anything. Um, so I'm really curious, once people watch this video, please let me know if you had heard of these dolls before, these Barbie dolls, or if, and if you have, what you think of them, and why there's so little... Um, talk about them etc so anyway the dolls we're talking about today are the classic can you see that no actually you can't because it's on the front the the classic dolls and the other thing i like about these of course they were very unique um this one is from 1993 and it is evening extravaganza barbie uh this is uh, the sketch for it that you see here. And another thing that I like is on the back, they show you the designer and they tell you about um, that person, some information about it. Like in this case, it's Kitty Black Perkins. And she says, I mean, it says, when she answered the fashion designer ed 18 years ago, Kitty never imagined she'd be designing beautiful clothes for a doll. But what a doll and what an experience it's been. She loves her job, etc., etc. So it tells more about her. Um, says, this year's classic collection shows us that Kitty does as much for Barbie as Barbie has done for her. It says, there's also, it also says there's a fantasy element and Barbie does everything and she needs a special outfit for each occasion. So this is the sketch of the outfit. And here is the doll. and the finished outfit which I think is a pretty nice one um, you know the one thing I will say about some of these dolls like this one it does seem a little dated at this point um, you know the fashion with the sequins um, it does seem a little dated but I still like it and I think it's great for the time period um, it's talking about grand entrances here and a uh, stunning strapless sheath that she's wearing. A side swept hairstyle and rooted eyelashes. These dolls all did have, I believe, rooted eyelashes, which is nice. Um, let me give you another view of the doll itself. And you see the gloves and the earrings. So I, I think these are really nice dolls. And I like the fact that they're in a different box, a white box, um, that they open. And you can see the doll very easily, a full view if you don't want to take them out. Okay, so that's the first one from 1993. This one is also, let me double check, but yes, this one's also from 1993. So I guess, you know, they had done more than one that year. Um, this is Uptown Chic Barbie. It says, oh so chic leather and lace look with sparkle and style. Uh, she paints the town pretty, sporting her white pencil leg pants, leather look vinyl and matching peblum top, gold tone buttons, and real snaps. So they had real snaps as well. Here's the back, by the way. This was also from Kitty Black Perkins. Um, she did this one as well. And here's the sketch on the front. So very kind of hip chick, you know, and it says third collection in a series of limited edition dolls by Mattel Designers. Uh, let see. Here is the picture inside of the doll holding the jacket. And then here's the doll itself. Kind of cool. This is not one of my favorites, I must admit. I like this doll, but I wouldn't say I love it. 
Now, one thing I liked about it, especially at the time, was that the hair is short, and it was very rare to see a short-haired Barbie um, at that point. Most of the time, they were big and poofy and all that. Okay, this next one is one of my favorites in this collection, and this is Starlight Dance Barbie, A Heavenly Dream in White for Starlit Nights. Um, by the way, some of these dolls came in both the Caucasian and the African-American version. I have some in the African immersion. I think I've got, yeah, actually I've got um, the one of this one uh, to show you. So I've got actually both versions of this to show you. This Starlight Dance Barbie. And she is one of my very favorites from this series. Um, now this, as I said, was 1996. This is designed by Cynthia Young, uh, the fifth Mattel designer to be featured in the Classic Collection. And she says, little did I realize when my parents helped me make my dream fur jacket that someday I'd be designing for the most elegant doll in the world. There it was in Vogue, the most beautiful coat Cynthia had ever seen. And so she wanted to start designing. Uh, she graduated from the University of Cincinnati, designing for movie stars and the most famous dolls in the world. She finally remembers the first sewing project and her parents who helped her start her career. Now, this outfit, it says, Barbie is an eth ethereal... Beauty dressed in the palest cream satin and chiffon sprinkled with stardust. Sheer panels make her skirt seem to float cloud-like in the wind. Brilliant rhinestones reflecting tiny rainbows of light add to the sense of movement. Her long hair swept high under shimmering hairband falls gently in one soft curl to her shoulder. And with her large, gentle eyes and sweet smile, Barbie looks like an angel dancing in the stars. And I would have to agree. I mean, I just think this is a gorgeous, gorgeous doll. Here's the sketch on the front. And, you know, they've got these purple. The purple is a bit much. I think they should have toned that down on the sketch because you don't really see that on the actual finished product. Here's the designer, a picture of the designer on the back, Cynthia Young. And then here is the picture. on the inside beautiful doll I mean I just love this doll and here's the actual doll and unfortunately with some of the glare it's not easy to show this but um, I think you get a good impression though of what I'm talking about and you know I love the hairstyle the upswept hairdo a little over the top but beautiful in my opinion. I liked, I like over the top uh, updos, and I've done a few. You've probably seen them. But um, you know, this also had some kick-ass earrings in my opinion, and that cool headband, which I could use to cover up that stupid light above me. Um, but anyway, um, here she is again. I'll show you the bottom. So you see, you don't see any purple in it. But, you know, there's a lot of shimmer, especially in certain light. So, okay, so that's that one, Starlight Dance. And now I want to show you the same doll in the African-American version. Here's the sketch for that. Because they've got some beautiful African-American dolls in this collection. And, of course, the same designer. <laughs> um, but this one, here's the picture. go the right way and here's the actual doll so I mean I just love how Cynthia designed this and also the way that the hands are stretched out and the you know that cape in the back attaches like that it's just like a goddess this reminds me of a goddess literally so love that one absolutely Okay, the next one, which was from 1990, wait a minute, 6 also, and this was Romantic, inter, or this is Romantic Interlude Barbie, Timeless and Classic Midnight Black for an Evening Stroll. Okay, so here's the sketch on the front. Again, I really like this design, it's so cool. Um, there is an African-American one, because some of them there there isn't. 
like that uh, I believe the first two I showed are actually the second one there is only the white one to my knowledge um, and then this is the designer on the back and her picture this is Ann Driscoll um, it says Ann never thought about being a fashion designer but always liked to draw her grandmother painted and her mother always found time to paint and sew fashionable outfits she received a degree in fine arts from the University of Virginia and has worked as a freelance illustrator and layout artist for a newspaper. She started doing fashion illustrations and loved it. She decided to become a fashion designer and went to Parsons School of Design in New York where she received her degree. After working for some of the top names, uh, she moved to Mattel in Los, Angel in Los Angeles. And she works by first sketching all of her design ideas and loves the variety of looks she can create for Barbie. So, um, inside, when they talk about it, they say she walks in quiet beauty in the distance notes from a sonata drift reassuring in a cool evening breeze. Dressed in a long, velvet-like ensemble, she is a romantic vision in black. Her coat with its sweeping skirt and sparkling buttons hugs her at the waist, protecting her from the cold. Her dramatic beret... beret Let's the wind catch only the tips of her perfectly cut dark hair. Delicate feathers on a rhinestone pin and tall black boots complete her classic, superbly contemporary look. So, here's the doll. And just utterly beautiful. I think it's a really cool winter look. Um, reminds me of a, you know, holiday scene. Without the red and green colors. I'm not, I'm not saying a holiday Barbie, just a holiday scene, like from a holiday village. And, um, yeah, this one is a really cool one, Romantic Interlude. Like I said, there is an African-American version. I, I want to get it. I haven't gotten it yet, but I'm looking to get it. Okay, and the last one for today is um, Evening Sophisticate. And that's... Um, this one here from 1997. So we've got dolls spanning from 93 to 97 in this group today. Um, she Here's the picture on the front. It's kind of an interesting combination of colors with the green and the pink, but I think they look good together. Um, it, I just wouldn't have thought of putting them together, to be honest. I don't believe. Now this is designed by a current Barbie designer. Robert Best, and like I said, it's from 1997. Uh, he studied piano for years, became a concert pianist, liked to draw and make up stories, sketching glamorous fashions inspired by old black and white movies, drawing on his music sheets. Uh, 11, year old, 11 years old, or at 11 years old, decided to make a career with drawing his fashions. After he graduated from high school in 1987, he headed straight for Parsons School of Design, Woohoo! Parsons. Named Student Designer of the Year when he graduated in 1991. He worked at Ann Klein and Isaac Mizrahi before coming to Mattel. So, uh, inside, it says, Barbie makes an entrance in a dramatic yet brilliantly simple evening ensemble. Satin that gleams with a soft luster in mint and pink, embellished with a touch of golden lace and icy rhinestone accents. Her coat with spectacular ruffled collar is worn in a casual toss around her shoulders. Her two-piece gown has a deep slit, stunning with stilettos, short, sleek bob, striking blue eyes, and contemporary face. Make Barbie the essence of cool sophistication. Now, this is an okay one, in my opinion. It's really very 90s, and that's okay because it's from the 90s. But it's just not one of my favorite outfits. In fact, it's one of my unfavorites, or least favorites, I mean to say. Um, it's okay, but... I bet even Robert would wonder at this point, um, you know, does he still love it? I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's a pretty doll, just not one of my favorites. I mean, of the six, this is two. There's two that I'm like so so on. I st I do like this better than that uh, white leather one or leather and lace. And by the way, I don't think I showed Robert's picture on the back. This is a young Robert Best. He's obviously a bit older like the rest of us now and um, still doing great work at Mattel uh, one other doll I want to mention that I, I have and I've shown before on video so I'm not going to show it today is Midnight Gala with the long ponytail 
and it's braided and the black velvety looking dress um, I do like that a lot that's actually one of the very first ones from the classic collection that I first got interested in but I think it's a great collection and I wish more people talked about it use those dolls I, I just don't see them out much so thanks for watching Congratulations to us on 50 videos, and I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye.